Okay, guys, uh, we're gonna continue with logical chess. Uh, from now on, I'm gonna analyze these games uh, much faster, so you can get more knowledge in less time. Okay. D4, D5, C4, E6, maintaining uh, the pawn in the center. If I take here, he's gonna recapture, and then he's, he's gonna have a pawn in the center and the pawn. And uh, and if he didn't do that, if he did something like this, then I can take, take, then I'm gonna have a pawn in the center. And of course, as if you have seen the previous videos, you you know why it is important to control the center and have the pawn in the center that that controls a lot of square there. E6, knight C3, developing towards the center. E7, knight f3, knight f6, bishop g5, h6. Okay. Bishop h4 and takes here. Okay. E3. Just trying to get this bishop in the game and also to recapture here, a6, now black is threatening b, uh, b5 and then this pawn is, is going to be protected, of course takes b5, so he's trying to develop the bishop here on this long diagonal, <clears throat> bishop b3, bishop can go here also, but this is fine too, this is also nice diagonal for the bishop, knight b to d7, developing knight, of course you don't want to develop a knight here because it is it will block this c7 pawn and you want to push this pawn to gain space here instead of uh, this pawn remaining on the, the his square and be, being backward then you we can attack this pawn something like this queen e2, just Developing more pieces in the center, maybe preparing this push. C6, castle, castle. Rook to C1, of course, putting the, putting the rook on the open file. Bishop B7, developing the bishop, but this bishop is kind of blocked. This should be pushed. Maybe black should have pushed this before, but maybe actually he could not do it. Maybe you can go back and analyze that. And the last piece, now all of our pieces are active and we can start doing, start attacking him a little bit. Rook to c8 and now Knight e5, this is interesting because if he takes as he did, yes, we are doubling this pawns, but we're gonna get this nice square here. Maybe with the knight, we can go here, and also we can also block, uh, go with the knight here and block this pawn. And if we block this pawn, then this bishop is dead. This bishop is just staring at this pawn. Knight, now we trade the bishop because bishop was attacked and we don't want to waste time maybe retreating it, we just want to... and he took here. Okay, we recapture, he takes and now we have a control of this only open file. He's trying to uh, compete on this file and now thanks to this pawn we have this nice square here and if he takes we're gonna have a passed pawn and he takes and we have a passed pawn and probably one of, one of our main goals here is just to protect this pawn and to have protected passed pawn that would be ideal probably 
JHIG blocks and we, we are trying to do just that to get a protected pass pawn c5 and we achieved it and now this pawn is gonna bother him whole whole game because he has to babysit this pawn he has to stay in front of the pawn so the, this pawn does not become a queen c4 okay he activated this bishop he is trying to block our bishop a little bit uh, that does not bother us a lot because the, our bishop has this diagonal too okay queen c6 he's threatening checkmate we protect that block that diagonal check doesn't mean anything rook to d8 and a rook uh, queen e1 so queen e1 is an interesting move we probably want to go here we want to penetrate into the black's position we have all this protected and we now want to advance more okay we rook this rook d7 h3 we are not in a rush we just want to give some left or luft how uh, i'm not sure how it's pronounced to our king so maybe in, in the future we want to escape here not allow any any checkmate on the back rank okay bishop c6 and now f4 we protect this pawn also if you want to go here we cannot go it right uh, go right away because this pawn is gonna fall so we protect that pawn and now rook a7 okay the computer is saying that it's mistake because we have this f5 move so if rook stayed in this square then f5 probably would not be uh, as good because if he took we want to push this pawn but then this pawn is going to fall but actually then maybe we can push here so it's not clear but anyway maybe rook was better here blocking this pawn as we'll see so we are pushing it's a, okay he plays this so let's see what happens if he takes if he takes here yeah if he takes here we're gonna we can play e6 and bishop f5 also let's see e6 looks attractive And we have really strong pawns if he takes then we're gonna take let's say he goes here oh that would be deadly if he goes there so let's say he goes here we have queen c8 king h7 bishop here and d7 so if he takes here we're gonna take the queen and it, of course if he takes he's lost okay you can try something like this but let's not go into that so you see how how dangerous these pawns are so he cannot afford to take that pawn let's see that line again try to visualize that line if he took from here you push he takes and you push more anyway he goes there and we go f6 to crush these pawns goes here queen g3 attacking so we are threatening to sacrifice here and then it's gonna be a checkmate fast so he goes here does not allow that but we push we use 
all of our resources. They spawn everything. Okay, his, his queen is trying to get here to protect, to protect the king. We push the pawn. He protects his position a little bit. But then we get the rook into the game also. Now we are threatening to take, take. And I think we sacrifice here. He takes and we checkmate with the queen. For example, if you play something like this. So takes, takes, check, and checkmate. This is a good checkmate to know. So he has to do something. He protects that pawn. But then rook g g4. So you see, rook first goes here and here. So he could go in the move here, but first it's so interesting. He goes here to provoke this move and then goes here. And now queen is queen is here. So if he if he has gone here right away then it is the same position but his queen is on this square but he if he goes here and here then his queen is on this square but we have the move so it's really really this moment is really instructive okay queen e3 attacking the rook rook d7 and now again rook h4 Again, threatening here, takes, takes, and checkmate. So, queen has to protect. And now we push more pawn. We are not concerned about the, our king because his pieces are all defensive. And we can advance and not fear. Okay, he goes here to avoid this spin. Takes. Now we can take, it's free, and uh, here we have to take, but it is too late for him. These pawns are passed and protected, so we just go in, we are threatening to check here. He cannot take because it's a, it's a pin, and then we're gonna have, we're gonna have to take this pawn. So this is also a nice move. Goes there to protect, still give a check, and sacrifice the bishop. The last trick takes takes and d7 game over. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed it, and stay tuned. There is a lot more to come. See you in the next video.